Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a user-defined parting element keeping the neutral element as the same. So in my previous video I've shown you how you can use the neutral element as the parting element. So in this video you're going to deal with the defining parting element which is completely different. So what happens when I define the parting element as separate is the neutral element will be the same and uh, the angle will be calculated from which say uh, let me just start working with it so I can understand that better so let me delete the uh, previous draft which I've created in my previous tutorial and uh, I'm going to uh, draft the draft is in the dress up features so draft so before creating draft uh, let me create a plane in the middle say so the plane is right here okay so draft select the planes the neutral element is going to be this plane so neutral element if the neutral element is going to be that plane that means that the angle will be calculated from this particular plane with respect to this face and I'm going to make this as the parting element so what happens here is till this particular plane there won't be any drafting and after that the drafting will be continued so a particular portion will be removed from here and here now let's see how it works out so I'll click on more I'll go to define parting element and I'm going to click on this and let me just click on the preview and this is what happens so technically if you see from side the angle was calculated from here and the parting was done from here unlike uh, the previous video in which I've shown that the neutral as well as the parting element was the same that's the reason the angle was calculated from here and the parting was done from here so uh, if you really listen to my narration you can uh, really distinguish between both of them and don't get confused so I hope you enjoyed my video and uh, keep watching because I'm going to show you some more so thank you